Hey, what's up everybody? If you love these little guys as much as we do in our family, but you can't stand the fruit flies that come along with them, then you might want to watch this video I'm about to show you next. So how does our house get rid of those cute little fruit flies that use these beautiful bananas as their airport runway to take off and fly all around your house and bug you, no pun intended, <laughs> as you're eating breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Well, here's how we do it. Dun, dun, dun. Folks, welcome the Vivreal Insect Killer. Now, folks, before I go ahead and open up the box, I just want to let you all know that I'm going to put a link in the description below of this video and how you can pick up your own Vivreal Insect Killer off of Amazon the same way that I did. So here you go. You got a little picture on the front of some bugs with a zapper through it. This side says, caution, indoor use only, keep out of reach of children, don't touch the internal high voltage grids, don't take it apart. Um, here's the Insect Killer Quiet Operation, 4 watt UV light. 180 square foot zone and safe design high fits easy to use and inspected by Amazon like I said link down below So let's open her up folks now. How did I come across this puppy? Well, this is how I was at a friend's house this summer at a pool party and he had one of these in his kitchen And I asked him about it. He said it works incredible and you know So I'm not gonna put a video up of like a week later of the tray being filled with bugs And I also went onto Amazon and looked at a ton of reviews and everybody said how great it works So let's go through this first. So look at Vivreal Scent free mini insect killer um, If you do a little review on it and you do the URL and order number um, We'll ship you your free gift within five business days. Wow, that's pretty cool That's not bad that they do that and then here's the instruction manual Vivreal Electronic insect killer the mini so it goes through the mini insect killer the warranty specifications main components and your warnings um, Which are pretty good. So make sure you always read your warnings always always we're gonna put this on the counter And I'll show you where I put it. We're gonna put it close to where the bananas are Okay, so let's take this out of here. So it's pretty simple pretty cut and dry on this All right, let me move this over here so you can get a good view of this. So there's the front part and Here's the one side and there's, of course, your prongs, you plug it into the wall. I like how it's got them like it's going to sit far off. So maybe you can still plug something in underneath on the second outlet. Here's the back side, other side. Now, folks, here's what you got right here. This is your little insect trap door catcher, whatever it is. You take this off, and in there, it's going to catch them all. You can probably get about, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 mosquitoes in there before you got to empty it. That's pretty simple. I like that. And then you just... Put it right in there, squeeze it a tiny bit on the sides, and snaps right back in. So there you have it, folks. Let's go ahead now, and I'm going to plug it in the spot where our bananas are, and we'll go from there, and you can see how bright it gets. Now let's go ahead with the quick and easy installation process. Now, folks, as with anything in life, you must always use common sense before you do anything. Always. And what do I mean by that? Well, on the left right here, we have an outlet. On the right right here, we have an outlet. Now, the right side outlet has a blender in front of it. We have it plugged in. We have some switches. So there's a little more traffic here. I don't want to use that outlet. So let's go over to this side. We will remove the night light. And should I just go ahead and plug it in there right now? No. Why not? Because there's a little plastic bag with buns in it. You don't want to have it plugged in with like a bag in front of it, plastic, paper, or anything that might be flammable. You want to have it where there's nothing around it or if anything's near it, metal, okay? So let's plug it right in right here. And this is pretty cool. There it is. And it kind of looks like its own little nightlight. And that's as simple as it is. Have the bananas right here. And now any of those little guys try and use this as their airport runway and take off. Look where they're going. <laughs> right in there. <laughs> Actually, let me turn the bananas a little bit better. So look at that. All the bananas are facing towards us. So as they roll down the runway, they're not going to fly too far. They're going to hit some stormy weather. <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, thank you all for watching. This is Craig from Collins Club. And please leave a like, comment, or subscribe at the end of this. And tell me what you think. And like I said, the link down below in the description if you want to pick up your own Vivreal Insect Killer. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Want to see more videos like this? Then click right here. Have a little sister who loves princesses? then by clicking right here, go check out Skylar's Club. And if you want to be notified every time we put up a new video, when you click right here and subscribe to us, click that notification bell. And always remember, give more love, get more love, Collins Club.